you have done these things, God sees you as a lying, thieving, blasphemous, adulterer at heart. Yes. And he will punish you in a terrible place called hell. Yes. But he is not willing that any should perish. Sinners broke God's law, but here is the gospel, good news. Jesus paid the fine. This means that the case can be dismissed. Mm -hmm. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus rose from the dead, defeating death. Today repent and trust Jesus, and God will give you eternal life. Then read the Bible daily, obey it. God will never fail you. Don't miss the Living Waters podcast and YouTube channel. Okay. You know what I mean? So what you mentioned there is Christianity. Yeah. That's 100% Christianity. So you don't believe in this? No. No. Can I, I'll, I'll tell you what we believe. And then I'll, t I'll tell you why what we believe is more just, is correct. We believe that God, Allah has created us to worship him. Yes. Okay. Of course, he is the one. No problem. God said that there should be no other gods before God. Yes. And he's places, <laughs> he's places in this world to test us. Yeah. And how do we know what God wants from us? He sent messengers. We have to forgive one another, not judge one another, stop wars. Yes. Give more money to each other and everything, not mistreat one another. But what you said is that, for example, in Islam, we believe that all of us, we commit sins, as you said. But when we commit sins, we repent. We seek forgiveness from the most merciful, the most kind, yeah. the most generous, and we ask forgiveness and he will forgive us. Yeah, but we don't, almighty, we, yeah, almighty, but we don't believe that God has to become a man and die for our sins. We don't believe that someone else can take our sins because this would yeah, be, yeah, no, this, this would be unjust. Jesus yeah. For the dying yeah. on the crucifixion. Yeah, that's the point. You, you believe that Jesus died for your sins, and, then, then and no one can, no one can yes, be, no one can be right with God. The only one that no. can save us. We cannot do anything. No. We're not that powerful. No, no. See, the thing is, but you're saying that Jesus had to die for our sins to, to, say, to save us. No, God uh, has chosen him. Uh, God yeah, and, and you're saying that God has made it a necessity. He's been, he's yeah. Been, uh, uh -huh. The Holy Spirit bestowed on him. Uh -huh. It is the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That when you accept Jesus in your heart, yeah. you accept the Holy Spirit from uh -huh. our heart. But see, the thing is. And this gives you wisdom, simplicity, clarity, patience, okay. knowledge. See, the thing is, but you still believe that someone else has to bear the let, let me finish let me let me finish you still believe that someone else has to bear the burdens of your sins not really so yeah. it's up to you because accepting uh -huh. jesus yeah. that he died for yeah. your sins you cannot take it as granted no no but but, but, but once but once but once but one no no but the point is you believe once you accept jesus he will take your sins for you he will bear the burden of your sins but this is completely unjust and this is something which you believe that god has laid down, God has decided that he will become a man, he will die for your sins and he will bear your sins. So where does this come from that you are telling me now? Is it from the scripture? No, not at all. See, the thing is... From it, the Quran? Even, no, what I'm telling you, Islam is very straight. It comes from the Quran. The thing is, you have to ask yourself, if you have two scriptures, the Quran and the Bible, and they're saying contrary things, you have to find out which is from God, which is, yeah. you know, for something to be from God. Yeah, this is interesting as well. Yeah. Like Jesus was circumcised. Uh, yeah. This is true, right? Yeah. And I saw also. With two pens. Sorry. Did what, you... One minute. It's not me. Uh, sorry. Not me. No, yeah. Yeah. So. No, no. Also, so, so, you know, the thing is, we're moving points. What let, do let... you with me? Sorry. Because uh? I need to go. But I understand what you're saying. Yeah. I'm not Muslim. I've met many friends. So yeah. I believe as well yeah. what you're saying. What do veiled mean? Veiled. Oh, the women used to cover. And also one more thing. Yeah. Uh, he didn't eat pork. That, so pork and yeah. meat containing yes. blood. So yes. vegetarian he was. No, not vegetarian. He didn't he wouldn't eat pork. Yeah. And when they would have an animal it would be slaughtered. Like the Muslims do today, yeah. like the Jews do today. Also that yeah. that times we used to sacrifice animals for our sins as well. But the thing is and then Jesus Young man, young man, no young man. You're coming from so the thing is, because I'm going through topics and once I time. No problem, but you have to finish one issue first. The thing is, when it comes to the Quran, the speech of Allah, the Quran introduces itself and says, Tanzilu min Rabbil Alameen. It has been sent down from the Lord of all the worlds. 
that God has sent it down. He sent it down on his final messenger, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was a, a Muslim. Yes, a Muslim is one who submits to God. Let me That's finish. Hebrew, right? No, Arabic. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. So the Quran has been preserved from that time until today. The Quran Allah mentions in uh, chapter 15, verse 9, in the Nahnu Nazalna Dhikr wa in the Rula Hafidun. We are the one who has sent down the reminder and we will preserve it. The Quran mentions in chapter 54, We have made the Quran easy to remember. So is there anyone who will remember it? So the Quran has been memorized from the time of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, until this day. Hundreds of thousands of people have memorized the Quran from the beginning to the end, every word, every letter. So the Quran is preserved. It says it's from God. He said that he's going to preserve it and it has been preserved. So when it comes to the Bible, when it comes to the Old Testament, the New Testament, most of the books, are, we don't know who the authors are. Like for example, when you take the first five books, the Torah, you know, uh, Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Leviticus and Deuteronomy, scholars, scholars, biblical scholars will say that these books were not written by Moses. They were written hundreds of years after Moses due to the information in it, due to the writing style, due to the language used, and no one actually has, has the originals and can claim this is from yeah, Moses. Yeah, because the government hid the original, we know that. That's why there's no clear... Ba basically, no, the responsibility was given to the people to take care of it and they failed. Even when it comes to what we know about Jesus, all of the books of the New Testament, the 27 books of uh, the New Testament, they were all... Uh, but in the New Testament 27, all of these 27 books were written after Jesus. The majority of the letters were written by Paul. Paul, who never met Jesus. Even his 13 letters, scholars only agree upon seven being from him. Six of them are disputed. They don't know who wrote them. The book of Hebrews, no one knows who wrote them. Even so the... It's added. It's added to. So, so that could be the government. So whether, regardless if it's the government, if it's a religious body, it's not something which you can rely upon for so your you salvation. Don't know the whole truth, really, truly. So from that's the, why accepting for, Jesus. From the Bible, no, is no, enough. but no, because the Bible is telling you that's enough. But the problem is the Bible is not a reliable book, where the Quran is telling you no, you have to worship God yourself. You have to t you have to follow the messengers. In the time of Moses, you have to follow Moses. In the time of Noah, you have to follow Noah. In the time of Abraham, in the time of Jesus, the people would have to worship God alone and follow Jesus. But now, 600 years after Jesus, the last messenger, the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon all of them, the last messenger has come. All mankind to be successful in this life and in the hereafter, they have to accept Islam. They have to follow the Quran and they have to follow the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. That's the, the message of Islam. The message of Christianity, one, we can't take it back to the original source because we don't have it. Second, the message itself is contrary to what we have in the Bible. This idea of uh, a trinity, God becoming a man or Jesus being fully man and fully God. God being three persons, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, all of these being one. Do you, you believe love is the main power? Let me finish. You, you won't find this being taught in the Old Testament. And even if you read the New Testament, what is left of the, this, when you look at the teachings of Jesus, what's reported in the New Testament is he worshipped God. He had a God, he submitted to God. Jesus was born of a woman, Jesus became hungry, Jesus became tired. Jesus said, of, a, of my own self, I can do nothing. Yeah. Jesus was sent by God. So the thing is, it's very clear to, to see that this idea of the Trinity, it came after the Bible, it came after Jesus. So, it's the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, the Trinity. Yes, but you won't find it in the Bible. I mean, even if I, if I just, I can remain quiet and I can put it to you, show me the Trinity from the Bible. People say, yeah, people say it so means... the Father is our God, the Son is Jesus Christ, uh -huh. and the Holy Spirit is what we are receiving from Jesus through God. This is the Christianity... This us alive, and we will ascend in heaven, we will not die. This is the claim of Christianity. But, because we cannot do anything at all. But you know what it is? You have to understand. You're, Just love. You're basing this on two things. You're basing this on your forefathers, 
my parents, my country, my grandparents, this is what they believe, that's, that's one. And second, you're basing it on the church, what the church has told you, and from the Bible. But the, it's but, what I see myself as but, but the book is not reliable, okay. That's why I accept myself, what I see is just love, the main thing, uh -huh. to love, forgive, share with one another, kindness, uh -huh. all of these things, and let God glory for the rest, because you admit to God that mm. you don't see the truth, and you ask God to show you from your heart for yourself. Uh, but the so thing is, God has sent a messenger. The Bible as well if you don't want to. And but, but, God has, but God has sent a messenger. Well. Uh -huh. But God has sent a messenger. For example, if someone in the time of Jesus is sent as a messenger, Jesus comes to Jerusalem, to this area, and someone says to them, look, I just worship God. I'm only going to follow Moses, and I don't, I don't want to accept Jesus. What is his position if he, he rejects Jesus? Yeah, we follow what our family does. That's how we honor your mother and father. Uh -huh. No, but my point is, once if someone in that time, if they rejected Jesus, they have rejected God who sent Jesus. So who is Jesus, you say? A messenger, sent, sent yeah. to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. God messenger when uh -huh. the end will come and will yeah. be saved. But he's not God. Be judging the living. But no, he's not God. No. He's not, and he's not part of God. No, no, he is just uh -huh. the ruler of earth and heaven. So you don't accept the Trinity? I accept. But the, but the Trinity says, that, look, the Trinity says, Jesus, the Father is fully God. The Son, Jesus, is fully God. A father, as in, if I see now a small little child, I am not the main dad, yeah? Yeah. But I can say I'm his father, isn't it? Because I will treat him like my small baby, isn't it? If, if you, if you... And I chosen him because I am God. If, if you, if you... If you, God, he can if, you if, if you cut down a tree and you make out of that tree a chair, a table, have you now become the father of the table? Now you have gained knowledge and wisdom. Have you become the father of the table? Of course not, but it doesn't say that the father of the table. So therefore, it there, says God is the father. Therefore, Jesus. God is not the father, God is the creator. Yes, he is the creator. You know, a father is a relationship, for example, a person, in, the, in any language, son, you become a son either by a relationship between a man and a woman, and then the, the child is called a son. Woman is your best friend. Or you become a son by adoption. Or you can call someone out of love, son. But to say that God had a son, like for example, you know your father and your mother, obviously you're their son. Because you're the son of your parents, you bear certain resemblance, you bear certain qualities, certain attributes. Obviously your parents are human. You have eyes like them because you're human. You have ears like them. When you say that Jesus is the Son of God, you have made, when you say that God has a Son, you've actually made a partner with God. So Islam says no, Jesus is a messenger. We are the creation of God. Jesus was the creation he of was God. Chosen, isn't it? Chosen, yes. And he was gifted by the Holy Spirit. He was chosen, to, to but, save but not us God. As well, yeah. to, to heal us uh -huh. and uh -huh. everything. Could he save but himself? He, will come, he already was here, uh -huh. but he will come to judge the living and the dead. Uh, he will, Those he will, that don't do, accept no, him. No, Jesus will return. That but the thing is, but God Almighty, He is the judge. God Almighty is the one who saves people. Because, but it is something we have to keep learning, isn't it? And see, no problem. It's Thank you for your time. Forever, isn't it? Think but about we what we said. Each other and everything, isn't it? We have to love the truth and we have to follow the truth. No matter who we are, we all have our own life. Yeah, so. no problem, sir. Thank you very much. Take care.